Hi guys, so today I'll be installing the iBus dongle into my car. So the adapter itself, the dongle needs to be plugged into a USB port. And then it also needs to be wired in. It's got four cables at the moment. White is for iBus. Uh, red is for power. Green we don't use. And this brown one is ground. Uh, so I've already gone ahead and stripped them. Sorry guys, I haven't got the actual tools to strip them. So I've just used the blade on my networking um, tool. So use that to be careful and just do it. But if, if you've got wire strippers, it's much easier. I mean, I haven't personally got them in the house. Don't ask why. Uh, <laughs> so that's that side of it. Um, I don't think I need to unplug it. So I'll leave that plugged in. That's not going to cause any issues. And then this is the harness for my car. So uh, it's, I don't know if that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. That's 14 pin harness. And then <clears throat> it's got this extra one, which only has four pins. Obviously, you can't plug in two. And this one's no use to me. So, what I'll be doing personally is cutting, cutting this adapter off. So, it'll give me more space behind the head unit as well. I don't want to have this bulky thing in the way. Plus, I can use the connections on here then because this has got this has got red, which we won't need because red is for ignition and we don't need that for the dongle. What we need is we need the yellow one, which is uh, the 12 volts power. Then we need the green one, which is iBus, and the black one. The black one is ground. Um, so I'll be cutting them off. And again, I don't have the proper tools, I don't have a cutter, so I'll just be using this. What else you need? You need a soldering iron, because uh, obviously you'll be soldering these wires to them ones. And obviously, if you don't have this on your harness, then you're gonna have to tap into the existing ones on this harness here. Um, they don't recommend you use those tap-in adapters. They recommend you strip the wire from there and then solder it. Um, but <clears throat> we're not gonna be doing that method anyway. Um, and then that's just the CAN bus that's plugged into it. That's for the E39, that's what I have. I'll just unplug that just to make it easier. And then obviously we need some uh, we need some of these uh, to cover the solder points afterwards. So I've got, got some big ones, I've got some sm small ones for the individual ones, and then I'll probably put a big one over all of them. So I've got them, just buy this off eBay, don't cost much, around three, four pounds. Obviously lighter to uh, it's a heat activated shrink those. Um, yeah, I've got one of these just uh, to give me a hand if I need to, which I probably will. So first things first, we need to cut these wires off. So I don't know how long more. this can be a bit awkward. That's one. That's all of them. So we don't need that. We need this side. And I just need to make some more room. So I need to cut this. And I'm just being hacking at it. So I've quite more than enough wire there. Should be enough for the connection. So now I just need to cut this extra bit off. I think I'll just use a scissor. That'll be easier. There we go. Quick and easy. So now let's try and strip these. Right, so that's all them wires stripped. And what I've done is, uh, sorry, my camera stopped recording. For some reason, I think I'm low on battery, so it's only doing five minutes at a time, so I didn't realize it stopped recording. But what I did is I just put some solder and I just applied it to each one of them so it's easier to join the both ends once once they're uh, once I'm connecting them up. So that's that side taken care of. So I've stripped them using my <laughs> not fit for purpose tool. That bit's done. Now what I need to do is I need to come over on this side and I need to uh, Put some, I'm just going to put some solder on these and then I'll be joining them up. So <clears throat> let's do that. 
I'm going to thread this through. I think that's the biggest one I've got. I think it's the thickest one I've got. Yeah, it looks like it. So this is going to go over all of them. So I'll do that as a collective first. And then we've got the individual ones. Could cut them in half. Don't need to waste so much. And then just thread each individual one. So black, black is ground, that goes to brown, which is that one. So I got them colour blind, so I just need to double check. Yep, that looks like brown to me, so that needs to go on there. That's brown. So now it's the uh, red with the yellow. Red's the power on the uh, dongle side, and yellow's the power on the harness side. That's yellow done, just one more wire left now. That's, that'll be the white one. That's the iBus. So the iBus needs to go to this green one here. Alright, so that's all three of the wires done. So next step would be to pull these heat wraps over them, tune wraps, like so. And then I just need to heat them up with a lighter. That's that one. Choose the power, this one for the iBus. I hope it still works. I don't know if you can tell, it makes, looks like I'm in the right hash of it. It's still connected. <laughs> Should do the job. Hey, look, if I can do this, anyone can do this. I'm not professional. As you can see, And last but not least, the ground cables. Sorry, that's not the last one. The last one would be to put the main one over on, but again, I've got the red on this side. I'm just going to blank it off. Don't need to, but might as well. Got enough cabling. I've got enough shrink wrap. It's done. And then, yep, so now it's the last step. Just get all these in there together. Don't think we're going to get that one in there. To be honest with you, I don't think we would need this green one in there really. Hey, just for the hell of it. Mm, now I'll take it out. I'll just take the green out. So obviously green on this side and red on this side we don't need. I'll just take that out. Let's see if I can get this over them. Oh, there we are. See that? Right, that seems perfect. Now these two.
That's it. That's all done. Now just plug that in there. Ibus goes back on. Um, canvas goes back on here. Jobs are good done. Thanks for watching. I'll do a separate video on uh, how it functions and everything. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll show you once I've installed it as well into the car. Uh, I'll show you how to set up the app. 